Hey guys, it's Amber. So today I'm going to be doing a favorites video, but it's a little bit different. I know it's the middle of the month, so we are going to be doing a flashback favorites. I'm going to tell you what was my favorite and see if I even have this product. Is it still my favorite? I know this video is quite popular, but the first person I ever saw do it was quite a few years ago and it was Pretty Pistol 86. So this video I uploaded was in October of 2014. Oh my goodness. I can't believe that this video was four years ago. So the first thing I mentioned was a palette from Forever 21. I remember how excited I was when I got this palette because it was like $7.80 or something completely random. Had an array of neutrals, a few shimmers, and a nice burgundy shade. And I ended up passing this palette along to my niece because I just felt like I already had enough eyeshadow. There wasn't anything wrong with it, but in the stage I was in with testing and trying and buying new products, I just didn't feel like I needed to keep it. And it was still a good quality. I still enjoyed using it. I would still recommend it for someone who was just starting out in makeup. But at that point, I just felt like, you know what? It's okay to declutter and I pass it along. And I'm pretty sure she already used it all up by now. So it has been well loved and well used. All right, the next thing I mentioned was the super lustrous eyeshadows from e.l.f. Now, <laughs> I have had these forever, obviously, and I still really like them. I have decluttered almost all of them, but I still have two. And one of them is pretty much almost gone. I've already hit pan on it. It's this kind of um, berry shade. They're starting to get a little dried out, so it's one of those things that it's like... Yeah, it's probably nearing the end of its lifespan. And then this gold one is also really pretty. I can definitely tell the texture on these is getting to be a lot thicker, not so light and moussey. But these were very unique at the time because ColourPop, I know, right? ColourPop wasn't this huge thing yet. And this was the first time I'd really experienced this type of eyeshadow. So I still really like these. I'd still recommend them. I think they're a great price point. And I believe they still make them. So yay for one thing still being a favorite. Something I still own. <laughs> the next product was actually two foundations mixed together. The first one was the Wet n Wild Coverall Foundation. I believe that I did finish that foundation up. The problem I had with this foundation is I really liked the coverage. But at the time, the shade only matched me when I was very tan in the summer. I wasn't able to find a shade that matched me when I had my paler skin. That's what ultimately left me not to repurchase is just because I had to be super tan to wear it. The other one was the Derma Blend, and I loved that formula of Derma Blend. Unfortunately, they reformulated it, and I did not personally like the new reformulated Derma Blend as much as the original. But I did use up that whole tube. I did use up another of the newer formula, but I haven't repurchased just because for the price point, I found other foundations I really like. And I just did not like how the new formula performed on my skin. I found it to be a little bit finicky. And I, I know I probably could have gotten better results if I invested in their particular primer and their setting powder. But I was getting better results with other products without the high price tag. So that's why it's no longer a favorite. So this is a product that I don't know why I never really repurchased. But it was the Pixie Under Eye Brightening. I really liked this. I used up the entire thing. And it's great. It's the peachy concealer that's underneath your eyes. But I don't know. I just felt like by the time I finished it up, I wasn't have as I wasn't having as many problems with dark circles. The regular foundations and concealers that I was using was covering it up enough that I didn't need to add that extra step. And so that's kind of why I stopped using it. But I still would recommend it to anyone who does struggle with dark circles and I still think it's a great product. The next product I no longer use because I have stopped buying non-cruelty free makeup items and this was a L'Oreal Lumi pen. I do like the finish of this. I thought it was nice and light. I don't know if they still make this product because honestly I don't keep up with L'Oreal's releases. But that would have been one of the main reasons why I never repurchased it. It was a nice light highlighter pen. I'm pretty sure I used it up in a project pan. And then, you know, it just wasn't something I ever repurchased. And now, like I said, I wouldn't repurchase it because it's not cruelty free. So I had some blushes. The first one being the Elf Berry Mary. And I'm like, I think I still have this. I'm, I'm going to look real quick. I do still have the Elf Berry Mary. I love this blush for fall. And it's getting to be fall. I should pull it out again. So let's put a little on.
So I definitely think I should do an updated what's in my everyday makeup drawer video. And I think that I'm ready to introduce some new things for fall. And I think that this should go in there. So I would say that this is still a favorite product. It's one that I still own after this long, that it's gotta be a favorite because I have decluttered almost all of my e.l.f. blushes, basically except for this one, especially in this size. I have a few more, but they're in the different sizes and formulas. So I think this may be one, if not the only one in this black packaging that I still have. The next blush was a Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush. And this was just a product that had its little moment. It got dried out. It wasn't something that was so like amazing that I really felt like I needed to repurchase. And I felt like the bouncy line just moved on with all the other makeup graveyards that have makeup that have been hot for a minute and then moved on the one hit wonders of the world, if you will. So that is one that I no longer own. I would not be interested in repurchasing and I don't even think that they still make. So I have my NARS Orgasm Laguna Duo and I actually use this all up completely. I put it into a project pan, I use it all up and I really liked it. I would at one point repurchase it again, but NARS did change their cruelty free status, which is unfortunate. And I feel like the O blush was starting to become so dupable. And I had the Milani blush, which was very similar. And I have lots of other bronzers. I never find myself being drawn to buying more bronzers because I feel like it takes me forever just to use the bronzers up that I already have. And I don't feel like they need to be that different, like a blush or an eyeshadow or a lipstick that's like, ooh, this new bronzer. I just feel like, oh, it's a bronzer. I've got one. I'm good, you know? So even though it's something that I enjoyed, I don't still have it, but I used it all up. So I guess that's something I still enjoy, but not anything I'd purchase again. So my e.l.f. matte lip color in natural. I still love this. Again, I think I did declutter quite a few of these and I think this is my second one of these. It's a really great neutral shade. It is again, something I need to pull out, get some more use out of. I would, deal, I would still say this is a favorite of mine. I would still recommend it and I feel like it's really universal. So if I ever have to pick out makeup for someone else, I tend to recommend this just because I feel like it's pretty flattering on light to medium skin tones. So I mentioned a NYX lipstick and topaz. And although I did like that brown shade, it was just when those like 1995 shades started coming out with the brown and the 90s vibe. But I got rid of all of my NYX lipsticks because I just didn't like the smell. And I know that sounds petty, but I can't wear something on my lips that I do not like how it smells. Even though I liked the color, I liked how it looked. I was just over it. All right, I had to dig around a little bit for this, but I mentioned this color Posy from Mirabella. I still have it, guys. That's a little alarming, but it is what it is. Actually, hardly ever been used. I mean, you can tell that this tube looks almost <laughs> perfect. Oh my gosh, this is why I'm like, I don't need to buy any more stuff because I obviously have way more makeup than I can even properly use. It just kind of has this nice coral red. Um, even though I still have it, I wouldn't necessarily say it's something that I need to keep, nor would I say that it's a favorite. So the next lipstick was a Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in Berry Couture. I did really like this shade, and I may have decluttered it because I can't find it. The only Super Lustrous Revlon lipstick that I still have is Wink for Pink, which is the one that I've been using in my Project Pan. So I think I might have gotten rid of it, but I do like the color. I would suggest it, but again isn't something that I would be interested in repurchasing. So there we go. So I mentioned a perfume, which is Taylor Swift Wonderstruck. And I do believe that I still have that perfume. It's actually right. It's actually was right up there. I've used about half of it. Perfumes last quite a while, but I would not say that it's a favorite as far as something I've been reaching for. I actually have still been using the Love Express perfume. I don't know why, I just love that perfume. And it's not something that's really popular, well known, and you just buy it from Express clothing stores. But I love it, it just feels like me. And so that's what I've been using. So I do have this, I don't have any perfume on today. Oh, you know what, that's why I stopped using it. I remember now. I don't know what to do with this. Do you guys know how to fix these when they break? Basically, I don't know if the little stopper fell out. All the perfume that's in there is still good, but 
somehow I think it broke. So that's that. All right, so I mentioned a brush. I'm pretty sure I still have it. It's one of my little Sedona lace brushes, but let's be honest, I have so many over here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find it. Okay, it's very, very similar to this, but it's from Sedona Lace, but it's about this size. And the reason why I liked it, it was the first brush I really found that was small enough to get into these tiny places because my eyes are small and they're hooded. So I definitely still use that brush. It's probably around here somewhere, but I mean, let's be honest, this thing gets kind of crazy sometimes, so. My last favorite was my iPhone, which I still have an iPhone, so I guess you could consider that a favorite. It's not this, it's not the same iPhone, so I don't know if that counts. That was on my alarm because it's time to go pick up my kids from the bus. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little flashback September favorites, and I'll see you guys next time.